quinti orati i flaci, carmina libel primum, carmina tres decima. Ode to jealousy. Horace has flipped his lid with Lydia. He's jealous of Telepus, the new guy, whose name sounds like it means rod or stick. Interesting. To me, uh, this poem is in three parts. The first part is this extended metaphor of the feeling of jealousy. Jealousy personified as a culinary metaphor. The liver, tumet, being the, the seat of sexual emotions for the Romans. And um, these lines, Dunc nec mens mi inet color certa sedemanet, humorit ingenas portem labitur arguens quam lentis penitus macere ritnibus. That's kind of reminiscent of Catullus 51, where he goes, um, what is it, what is it? Um, Hang on, it'll come to me. <laughs> Identidem te spectate taute, dulci ridentem mi. Errepit sensus mihi, misero quod omnis. Oh, yeah. Um, Flama demanat, sonitu su opte tintinant aures, gemina te guntur, lumina nocte. Right. Catullus is more melancholy in his jealousy, but Horace is fiery. And he moves on. The second part is uh, this depiction of the dysfunctional relationship between Lydia and Telepus, the new guy, who was an abuser. So Horace calls him out on that. But then the last four lines, he transitions to this depiction of an ideal wedded relationship. How very appropriately Augustine of him to end his ode on a high moral note. All right, so here's a reading. Cum tu, Lydia, telepi, cervi cam roseam, cerea telepi, laudas brachia, vae meum, fervens difficili bile tumet iecur. Dunc nec mens mii nec color, Certa sedemanet, humor et ingenas furtim labitur, arguens quam lentis penitus macere rignibus. Uror seu tibi candidos tur paruntum ero si modicae mero rixae, si puer furens impressi. Memorem dente labris notam. Non si me satis arias perres perpetuum dulcia barbare lae dente oscula quae venus quinta parta sui nectaris imbuit. Felices ter et amplius quos irruta tenet copula nec malis divulsus queremoniis, suprema citius solvet amordi. All right, and here's an interpretation. While you extol your telepus, the smooth arms and rosy neck of that telepus, by heaven's Lydia I see. My liver swells and boils in bitter juice. My temper and my color rise beyond control. I feel furtive moisture slide along my cheeks, betraying how deep-seated flames slowly simmer in my veins. I am burned each time drunken violence erupts and blemishes your shoulders white. Each time that oath implants upon your mouth his telltale mark a frenzied bite. Take heed. Fidelity you can't expect from one who so viciously abuses those honeyed lips which Venus with quintessence of ambrosia infuses. 
thrice blessed and more are those couples whose uniting bond holds fast, whose love unshaken by mutual complaint endures till by final parting overtaken. Gratias prospectantibus. Sic semper, valete amici.